What's up guys? So in the previous video we went over the dimensions in the reports tab so that we could see what kind of categories respond better, what gives us higher conversions, what location, what device, right? So that we can optimize our ads and focus more on the ones that work and cut out the ones that don't. So now the question is, what do we do about it? Where do we go to actually implement the, the, those changes? And this is what this video will be about. I'll show you different places you can go to make the changes that you're looking for. So let me start off by changing our mobile and desktop bins. So there is no option here to just completely turn off uh, a, a, a device is you can't check mark. Yes, I want desktop. I want mobile. What we have to do is we have to play around with the bids and we'll have to decrease the bid. So if our bid is $1, if we decrease the bid by 90%, then we're only willing to pay up to 10 cents for a particular click. And that's what I'd actually recommend you do for your ads. So let me show you where you can do that. So click on whatever campaign, let's say the US Canadian campaign, we want to do that. And let's go to settings. And then over here we have devices, okay? And over here, here's what you see. So again, you would go into your campaign, settings, and devices, all right? And then over here at the bottom, you see these three guys. You have computer, you have mobile devices, you have tablets. And here's also where you can see uh, your, your clicks, okay? So we had one click computer, one click on mobile device. And we need to be able to remove something that's not working. So if we have, for example, mobile devices, we've noticed that no one that clicks from a mobile device buys our product. Out of 2,000 clicks, no one's buying. Again, what we have to do is we have to temporarily pause it, figure out what's wrong, right? So pause the mobile device, figure out what's wrong, make the changes, take a careful look, come back and, and increase the bid again. I wouldn't recommend turning it off permanently. Mobile devices is big, okay? so here's what we would do we would need to click this little button here which says bid adjustment and for computers we could leave it at zero so what this means is that if our bid is two dollars for a keyword it's going to be two dollars okay now for mobile devices and tablets again depending on how comfortable you feel with tablets tablets aren't um, as bad as mobile devices in terms of uh, actual responsiveness so maybe let's go with mobile devices let's decrease the bid and let's decrease it maybe by 90%. So now if your bid on a keyword for our examples, I think it's $1, you are willing to pay maximum 10 cents on a bid. So if there's competitors and they're paying, you know, 5 cents for, for a bid and you're willing to pay up to 10 cents, then your ad will still show to those with mobile devices. Now, if you don't want your ads to show at all to people with a certain device uh, such as mobile or tablets you can just click decrease by 100 and basically now your bid is zero right so you can't get ads for free okay google is not that nice yet so your ads will not show to anyone with mobile devices in this case if you say tablets uh decrease by 100 then people with tablets will not see your ads at all. Now, tablets are, are closer, I think, to a desktop than a mobile. So maybe don't decrease it by 100, maybe make it 50 if that's the case. And if your bid is $1, the maximum you're willing to pay is 50 cents for a click on your ad for people on tablets. Okay, that's the way it's going to work here. And that's fine. So play around with it, determine what you want. Again, if you don't, if you want to pause, so to speak, a device, there's no way to pause it, but what we can do is we can just decrease it entirely and then just come back and put it back to zero, okay? So that's for that. So then if you want to add um, or change your ad schedule, so you've determined that, you know, from 5 to 6 p.m. in the evening on Fridays, your ad is just not working, people are clicking, but there's zero conversions. Here's where you would change the adjustment here. So here you have your days, and if you want to create a time, you would have to create ad schedule. And here you can create whatever you want. So if you want to make it from 12 to 5 p.m. and then from 6 onwards, so you're not doing that 5 to 6, you would do that here. So you would select it here, you know, Monday from 12 to 5, and then you would need to say add Monday, um, 
6 until 12 again, right? 12 a.m. Yeah, there you go. And then you'd click save. And then that should show up here. So it would say Monday midnight till 5 and then 6 till midnight again of the next day. Okay, and that's what it's going to show. You could also, again, adjust the bid like we did previously. And you can say, you know, decrease by. Now, in this case, you can't do 100%. Um, you can do, I think the maximum is 90. 90, let me see if you can do like 95. Yeah, so it gives you this weird thing. It says, please add a larger number. I have no idea what that is. Um, but the max you can decrease it by is 90. Now, if you want to remove it completely, all you do is you, ac you actually can remove it here. Just select that and click remove, okay? And that's it. So if we don't want to do the Monday time anymore, I'm just going to click remove. And we don't have Monday anymore at all. Again, if you want to add Monday, you click here and you say add, okay? And that's going to allow you to schedule your ad to run only during the times that are most productive for you, as we saw in our previous video when we determined what works, what doesn't, okay? Uh, so that's that location. You would change it here. So you can add location, you could remove location, and you can exclude location. So let's say, let's say, you know, US and Canada is pretty simple. It's only two countries, but here we have the diabetes loophole where we have non-US Canada. So we have every other single country in the world. So suppose we found find out, like in the previous video, that hypothetically Puerto Rico is doing very poorly. Then what we would do is we would say Puerto Rico and we would exclude it from the list. So we would not have it there saving us money because now we're not going to have people from Puerto Rico clicking our ads and not taking any actions. We don't want that. We only want people clicking on our ads and taking actions, right? So that's how you would do it. You would remove it. So that's about it. I mean, you add whatever works for you. You remove whatever doesn't, okay, based on the dimensions that we've done previously. You can also increase or decrease the bid adjustment as well. That's up to you. I find it easier to just keep everything at, at 100%, uh, unless, unless you're really, really happy with a particular country, and then you can you can increase the bid on that one right, by 50% or whatever it is you want to. Okay, now if you want to change the gender or the age, we would have to go to audiences and demographics here. So you have two tabs, you have remarketing, we'll get into that, and you have demographics. And we would have to click on demographics and adjust and play around with the settings here. So let's click uh, targeting. So we need to create this demographic um, difference for a particular campaign so let me see add to ad group all diabetes that's fine demographics and then here's where we would adjust and change the demographics so suppose we find out that or suppose we're we're promoting a maybe relationship guide for men then you would click on men and suppose we want to target only people only kids aged tw um, or teenagers right late teenagers aged uh, 18 to 24 and, and young adults. So we would want to put that and then click save. And then that's it. Okay. So that's going to show up and that is our demo, our new updated demographics. Now, the one thing you have to keep in mind when you go back on, oh, by the way, for age. Yeah. So that's going to show here and you can, again, you can adjust the bid adjustment here, um, as well. So you can increase or decrease it accordingly. So let me just see. For 18 to 25, we would want to decrease it by 100, for example. Okay, smaller number. Let's do maybe 95. Okay, so I think it's also 90 here. I think that's also the maximum. Aside from that, we would just have to remove it, okay, which is what we did. It should say that um, if you click on this little thing and your ads are running, it may tell you that ad is not running because of, uh, be because of the audience and the demographics. Don't worry about that. Your ad is actually running if it says that. So if you have any questions, I would contact the Google rep just by going here. I'm going here actually clicking help and either calling them or live chat. They have more options on weekdays. Today's Sunday, so they don't have live chat nor phone support, but you should see it available on weekdays. And you can call them and, and just make sure. But normally if it says campaign is running, but it it um, it doesn't work because of demographic reasons, then you would, um, 
you would uh, it would it, it it should still run okay so even though it says it's not it should be running but that's about it so that's basically how you would change around and play with this with these features to make sure i'm just trying to see why it shows okay because these are different different ad groups right okay so there you go so here is our actually uh, ad group so because we have different ad groups so for our ad group old diabetes which is what we've changed as you can see here it only says 18 to 24 and then for our gender it says uh, old diabetes only male which is what we've done and what we've targeted okay so that's about it that's how you would make those changes again um, go to campaign and go to settings and play around with it there uh, if you guys have any questions comments or concerns leave them down below uh, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you have subscribed thank you i do appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next video